at the very center and core and heart of Christianity is the cross. 2,000 years ago, Jesus died on a cross to take the punishment for our sins. And three days later, he arose from the grave and he's alive. He's alive today. Uh, and this cross out here, there's a beautiful little sign that says, we give thanks. And it's just a remembrance of, of what Jesus did for us. And the reason I'm, I'm sharing these video devotions with you is because of what he did on the cross. But the cross has pertinent meaning, not just historically and for the forgiveness of our sins, but it has meaning for the way you live. The Apostle Paul said something very interesting. He said, I die daily. Now, what did he mean when he said, I die daily? He also wrote to the Galatians and he said this. He said, I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet it's not I, but it's Christ who lives in me. What does it mean to die? Does it mean we hang on a cross like this and we die with Jesus that we're crucified? No, no, no. That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about dying to the old life. You see, in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, the Bible says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away and all things have become new. You see, when you come to Jesus, that old life of yours is dead and you've been raised by the power of his resurrection to a new life. Now, what Paul was saying was, every day I need to take my position as a dead man, not try to live on my own, not try to do what I want, but to die to myself, to, to take my position as co-crucified with Christ and let him by his spirit empower me to live the way he wants me to live. And so every day, what you need to do is wake up and say, this morning, I'm going to die. I'm going to die to myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my position with Christ on that cross and die to what I want, what I think, what I feel, what I can do, and I'm going to let Him live His life in me. And you, you appropriate that power and you will discover something. There is victory in the cross.